what is for you overall when you you say maybe you said before that this may be more a reflective record of uh, of your experiences mm -hmm. what would be the overall feel if lyric wise if you have to sum it up if that's possible um, i I think um romantic is one of the best words to describe it um there are things, there are songs that are, some songs are written about the future, some songs are written about the past, some songs were written about um, things that I wanted to do, things that I aspire to, or there's maybe one or two that are, were about what was happening at the moment, but um, I really enjoyed romanticizing aspects of all of these things, you know, um, sometimes making things um, better than they might first appear or sometimes making things seem like more of a struggle or more of a um, yeah and just kind of taking that whole idea of not not as far as melodrama but definitely kind of um, over egging it and romanticizing ideas. Can you name one thing you named the future? Can you name one specific ex example of a romantic picture of the future for yourself? Or as a person, or as a, for the band, or um, well, we're constant like on the on the road. We're constantly in a state of flux. There's 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 no mundane. There's no average day. And um, my kind of romantic ideal for the future is is to have a a balance within life where there's where there's a, a security, where there's a um, a comfortability with what we do. Um, which is something we've never really achieved, and um, you know, having having sort of a base, having um, somewhere to call home, and being comfortable with traveling, and um, you know, obviously meeting meeting the right person is a goal in in everyone's life, and having a family, and obviously this is you know could be years and years and years in the future, but it's. It's always like a, an idea because it's so hard to imagine being where I am and where we are right now that um, you know, we're, tw we're 22 years old and um, most, for the most part there's nothing really tying us down. We don't have um, necessarily a home. We don't, you know, Sam has a girlfriend and that's obviously he has a, quite a strong tie to, um, to that. Um, you know, you'd like to think, um, but uh, um, you know, it, it feels like we, to me, it feels like I could go anywhere or do anything, and um, there's always this idea of settling down in a way, some some point in the future. And okay, one, uh, two more questions. One for you, Sam. The balance in life that he he just mentioned. What is for you an important ingredient right now to have, and maybe bring a little bit of balance more in your life now? Sorry, what would it... Yeah, he mentioned it to find a balance maybe for, for you, uh, for personal life versus, I think, the band. Yeah. What is for you an important ingredient that you've learned now the last years that, that you need to have to find um, a balance? I think you just need to be super organized. Um, it's kind of hard to look beyond what you're doing at the, minute, at the moment sometimes, just because um, it's kind of crazy. Like sometimes you're traveling around so much and it's it's hard to even think about what you're doing tomorrow whenever you you know you don't even know what interviews up next and stuff like that like um, so I think it's important to be organized and just to really you know plan ahead what free time you have and make it you know worthwhile and get your flights booked and things like that and also just you know thinking about if you've got a day off somewhere maybe looking ahead to try and get you know, someone out to meet you and hang out for a couple of days and things like that. So just about being organized, I guess. One last question. Making the album title, who and where and when did it appear? Who came up with it? Um, well, I suppose initially I came up with the word and an initial concept and kind of everything that I was describing beforehand this this romantic ideal in the future or this romantic ideal in your mind um, that you hope one day will be is like this beacon calling calling and it's um, kind of this and the, the record is kind of like a journey or a um, 
uh, a description of striving for this goal and towards this beacon. So that was the initial idea. And um, so that's what I, I, I kind of explained to Kevin Salmon. But they, they sort of seemed to come up with their own interpretations, which was amazing because it was a word that we loved and had a meaning um, to everyone. And so it was, it was perfect to, to name the album Beacon. I wish you all the best. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time.